Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. I'm continuing my study in the book of Ruth, and today's devotion is called God Sustains. Up to this particular point, we see that Elimelech, who was a man from Bethlehem, which was in Judah, and his wife, Naomi, left that land because of a famine, and they went to Moab many, many, many miles to the west. Moab was a place where they set up their home and began to live, but Elimelech then passed away. And Naomi, with her two sons, continued on there. The sons eventually took wives, and they were there about 10 years together as a family, the sons, their wives, and their mother, Naomi, before the sons, both as well, passed away. Now, we see that Naomi is faced with a decision to make, to stay there um, or to go back. Look at verse 6 of chapter 1. It says, Then she arose with her daughters-in-law that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people that the Lord had attended to his people by giving them bread. So back while she was in Moab, she had heard somehow that back in um, Judah, God had attended to the people, his people, the Jewish people, that God had um, that God had relieved them from the famine, that not only had he given them bread, but that perhaps the famine was over, they were able to grow a crop, that would yield the results that they once again were able to eat and have plenty. And so she thought to herself, I will return to my homeland because God had sustained his people, then perhaps God will as well sustain me there. God sustains. That is true. If you are in Christ, then God will sustain you. If you're in Christ, And God has sealed you with his Holy Spirit of promise. God has made you his own adopted child. The Bible tells us that God has blessed us. God has blessed you with every spiritual blessing that can be from Jesus Christ. That God becomes your father, that he abides with you, and that he allows you to become one with him. To experience his presence and his power and his provision and his peace, and all that he is within your life. God sustains. God desires to sustain you. And if you're not in Christ, then if you will give your heart to Jesus Christ to make him your Lord, then you can experience the sustaining power of God in your life as well. And if you have, then just turn to him and ask him, to work and do in you what you cannot do for yourself. You know, we at Temple Baptist Church want to help you grow in your relationship with the Lord. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 6 p.m., and on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And if you don't have a church home, come and visit us here. I hope that you'll like and share this video so that it can help somebody else as well. God bless you. Join me again next time as we look at A Mother's Love from Ruth chapter 1.